Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer, and I'm a doctor. My passion is to share valuable knowledge that can enhance and potentially save lives. My mission is to empower you with information that can make a real difference in the world. In this video, we will explore the various causes of tiredness, potential medical implications, and the importance of seeking professional advice when needed. Understanding the underlying factors contributing to fatigue empowers us to take charge of our health and well-being. So let's get started. Tiredness, also known as fatigue, refers to the state of having less energy than usual, leading to feelings of exhaustion either mentally, physically, or both. While experiencing fatigue is a normal part of life, persistent tiredness may indicate an underlying medical problem. Surveys conducted in the UK show that a substantial number of people report experiencing tiredness lasting for one month or longer. A national survey of over 15,000 people showed that approximately 10 to 18 percent of respondents reported prolonged fatigue, and around 1.5 percent of the population experiences new episodes of tiredness every year. This issue is so widespread that medical professionals even have an acronym for it, TATT, which stands for Tired All the Time. Physical Causes of Tiredness Tiredness can be attributed to a wide range of physical illnesses and conditions. Some of the notable examples include Anemia, a tendency to be lacking in iron. I have done a full video about this so please check that out if you'd like to learn more. Hypothyroidism and underactive thyroid gland. Diabetes. Check out my recent video to learn all you need to know about diabetes. Heart failure. Chest illnesses, including asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Addison's disease. Bowel problems, such as celiac disease. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Nocturia, having to get up frequently in the night to pass urine due to an overactive bladder or an enlarged prostate gland. Obstructive sleep apnea, breathing problems at night interfering with sleep. Vitamin D deficiency. Pregnancy. Glandular fever. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Pain from other medical conditions keeping you awake at night. Side effects of certain medicines such as beta blockers, cholesterol-lowering medications, some painkillers, and certain antidepressants. Going through the menopause. Psychological causes of tiredness. Psychological tiredness is a prevalent cause of fatigue and is often more common than tiredness resulting from physical problems. Conditions like anxiety and depression can significantly contribute to feelings of extreme tiredness. Additionally, eating disorders, especially when accompanied by being underweight or overweight, can lead to significant fatigue. Any sleep problem can also result in daytime tiredness. Stress is a well-known culprit for causing tiredness, either due to its interference with sleep or the constant preoccupation of worries on the mind. Other potential psychological causes include Bereavement Boredom Domestic violence Lifestyle causes of tiredness. Lifestyle choices can play a substantial role in causing tiredness. In the fast-paced modern world, individuals often attempt to fit too much into their lives, leading to increased fatigue. Lifestyle causes of tiredness may involve excessive alcohol consumption, unhealthy and unbalanced diets, particularly excessive consumption of ultra-processed foods, recreational drug use, Engaging in excessive or insufficient exercise. Working night shifts, which can disrupt the sleep pattern and result in tiredness. Significant life events, such as getting married or moving house. Tests for tiredness. If tiredness persists or if it is accompanied by other symptoms, it is essential to consult a GP for a thorough evaluation. To determine the underlying cause, your doctor will conduct a series of inquiries and may arrange some tests. Here are the common elements of the evaluation. Questionnaire. Your GP may ask you a series of questions to gather essential information, including inquiring about other symptoms you may be experiencing, assessing your sleep patterns, interruptions, and possible snoring or breathing changes during the night, 
Exploring your mood and emotional well-being, especially if you feel low, anxious, or stressed. Evaluating changes in weight, particularly if you are a menstruating woman with heavy periods. Assessing your alcohol consumption and medication usage. Investigating the onset of tiredness, whether it was sudden or gradual, and if there were any particular triggering events or illnesses. Understanding how fatigue affects your daily life. Physical examination. Based on your answers, the doctor may conduct a physical examination. This may involve checking your weight and height if relevant, examining lymph glands for any enlargement, assessing the thyroid gland in your neck for enlargement, inspecting your eyes for signs of anemia, listening to your chest and palpating your abdomen and organs, checking your joints for inflammation or swelling, testing the strength of your arms and legs, Collecting a urine sample to check for sugar, diabetes, or infection. Blood tests. To rule out physical causes for tiredness, blood tests may be ordered. Although most cases turn out to be normal, these tests are useful in identifying potential issues such as low iron levels, anemia, low thyroid hormone levels, hypothyroidism, diabetes, Vitamin deficiencies, such as B12 or vitamin D. Celiac disease. Inflammation in your system. Liver or kidney function problems. Specific infections, such as glandular fever. Other tests. In many cases, additional tests are not necessary. However, if specific medical conditions are suspected, Further investigations, such as a chest X-ray, might be recommended to provide a comprehensive assessment. Should you see a doctor? If you can identify the reason for your tiredness and address it effectively, there may be no need to visit a doctor. However, if tiredness is significantly impacting your daily life, causing unhappiness, or if you feel unwell, it is advisable to seek medical attention. Certain situations warrant a visit to the doctor without delay. Feeling tired and experiencing unintentional weight loss. Tiredness accompanied by other concerning symptoms such as coughing up blood, changes in bowel habits, heavy periods, in menstruating women, or the presence of an unusual lump. Persistent tiredness that does not improve with self-care measures or lifestyle changes. Approaches to address tiredness. When dealing with tiredness, understanding and addressing its underlying cause is essential. Consider the following approaches. Exercise, engaging in moderate physical activities like walking, swimming, or cycling can reduce tiredness and enhance overall health. Sleep improvement, avoid excessive daytime naps to promote better nighttime sleep. For insomnia, focus on improving sleep quality. Address medical conditions, treating underlying medical issues such as anemia or hypothyroidism can alleviate tiredness. Discuss medication side effects with your doctor for possible alternatives. Chronic fatigue syndrome or CFS management, seek specialized help through psychological therapy, graded exercise, or medication if CFS is the cause. Anxiety or depression treatment, address fatigue associated with anxiety or depression through counseling, cognitive behavioral therapy, or medication. Stress management, identify sources of stress and explore ways to manage it, such as lifestyle changes, seeking support, or counseling. Remember, the treatment for tiredness varies for each individual. With time and appropriate measures, most people experience an improvement in fatigue and embrace a more energetic life. And that's it guys, I hope this video has been useful for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.